Good morning, uh, uh, Dr. Tang. Uh, thank you for coming uh, to LARS 2023. It's uh, a pleasure uh, that we'll be here. Uh, three questions in this morning for you. The first, what is your impression of LARS 2023? I love it. Congratulations. <laughs> it, it, is, it is a pleasure for me to be here in Mexico City, por primera vez in Mexico City. And my first time at LARS was in Guadalajara. Uh, yeah. And I really fell in love with the hunger, the culture, you know, in, in, in the different countries in South America, Latin America, because I think electrophysiology is still very young and muy joven yeah. in, in many of these countries. I was speaking to someone from Panama, and they said there are only four electrophysiologists in the whole country, todo el país, yeah. solamente cuatro electrophysiologists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that there's an underpenetration of talent, of training, and that is why my mission is to make sure that electrophysiology is globally served, and our mission must be global. So I really love being at Lars, and I think it's a great symposium. There's a very good mixture of all the different countries represented and the different societies. You know, yesterday yeah. the faculty had Japan, Asia Pacific, you know, the American Heart Rhythm Society cont contingent as well, European as well, you know, ERA. So I think it's been wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, the second question uh, uh, in the joint session uh, in between Lars and HRS, mm -hmm. uh, you talk about uh, the, the physiology stimulation. Si. Uh, Without doubt, the physiological stimulation the, it, uh, is the next big step in cardiac mm -hmm. stimulation. Uh, it's time to, to think uh, this type of stimulation for everyone. Yes, uh, in Arizona, we are cien porcentaje, oh. right? 100% for physiologic pacing for patients with bradycardia indication. I think it's much more complicated for CRT but I am learning that here it is very popular for CRT also because of cost. We have a left versus left study that is led by Ellen Bogan and Michal Chalou, which is based on patient-centered outcomes and looking at cost. So I think this is very important. So I think that left bundle area pacing and conductions of pacing has swept the world. You know, the stimulation the physiological, and I think that the hunger and the implementation is the same here. Okay. which is great, but we need more data, more prospective studies to justify all the use that we are seeing right now. But I do think that RV apical pacing is dead yeah. because you have apical perforation, diaphragmatic stimulation, um, dyssynchrony, and as I mentioned, pacing-induced cardiomyopathy may be as high as 10 or 50%. So we are causing harm in many patients that we are giving RV apical dyssynchrony. We are giving people left bundle branch block. We know we want to reverse left bundle branch yeah, block so wherever we can. That's very interesting. That. Finally, what new technology do you think we will have in the next years in this field? Hmm. Well, I think it depends on the different area. I think high density mapping has changed ventricular tachycardia. We have much better insight and clarity in the relationship of ventricular tachycardia circuits and the sinus rhythm. In pacing, I think it's all different new iterations of conduction system. And we hope one day there will be a leadless a conduction, conduction system with pacer. A, with a we okay. hope. Yeah. We hope. And lastly, with atrial fibrillation, everyone is excited about PFA and pulse field ablation. Okay. I think my concern is cost, particularly for Latin America, South America, where cost is so critical. Because yeah. our understanding is that cost may be much higher with PFA, but this also comes at the benefit of faster procedure and hopefully safer procedure. So I think we're still waiting to look at the durability of PFA, but that is what is most exciting. Okay. Okay, Dr. Tan, thank you so much for coming last 2023. It's a pleasure for us. Uh, with you. Encantado, thank you. and thank you, Presidente. <laughs> Gracias. Amigo. Gracias.